be well vlog number two it must be out here from the eastern part of thailand um we've been here for three days this is our last day but we're leaving last full day anyway we'll be leaving tomorrow and uh it has been quite an interesting trip i've been here out quite a few times before obviously over the course of the past 14 years that being said it's actually been five years since i was out here last time and though i have enjoyed it all the time and i really enjoyed being out here then it has been a different experience this time for obvious reasons you could say because unlike the other times oh i just got some burrs on me here sorry about that unlike the other times i was out here it was just a temporary courtesy visit just to say hi to the family and making sure they didn't remember who their uh, brother-in-law was or who their daughter was marrying but uh, this time I'm out here to get a feel for it make sure that uh, when I made the choice 10 years ago that eventually I would be moving out here that it was not just a rhetorical choice that is actually was a choice that I could stand by and that being said it was uh, quite a shock when my wife had prepared the land already for being out here as I've mentioned um, but I've been here and uh, I like it I'm really looking forward to it it's not without challenges absolutely not it's not without uh, certain needs of adaptations absolutely as well but some of the things that I've been looking forward to I'm sure is going to be fulfilled absolutely among of those is the peacefulness and so we've been to the temple uh, today we just up there to make sure that we uh, made the prayers and make sure that we get lucky uh, for the future to come that is a good traditional Thai style you could say uh, father and mother-in-law went along and uh, my wife obviously and then we went to the builder shop to get some of the first materials to build the home and uh, well all in all I think my wife is very very happy to be here I can see that she's thriving and I also can feel the family is actually um, I would probably be saying it wrong if I say they're more uh, forthcoming than they were but they feel like they're being more happy as, as if yeah well that might just be me wishfully thinking who knows <laughs> but I really do like it out here um, and I know that you guys who is watching these videos and might have your experience from Thailand or you know, maybe you read a lot of headlines about Thailand You'll probably follow this just as keen as many others, but for different reasons, because I am fully aware that there's a lot of things to be, a, to be wary of, or there is a lot of changes. But the thing is, I've been worked and living in how many, five different countries in uh, two different continents. And it's always been an all in kind of thing. And I think that's the best way to enjoy things. It is obviously not being totally lunatic and stupid and ignorant, but uh, take your precautions, but don't go further than the logic mm, relative to your nature. I mean, for instance, now I'm building a home out here and I'm not for a second building a home out here because I want an investment object. I'm building a home out here because if I'm staying here for 20, 30 years, I would have saved myself a lot of money compared to what it would have cost me to rent. And that's my philosophy. In addition to the fact that I get to live exactly where I want to live, and I get to live in a house that is made more or less to my uh, demands and needs. I mean, more or less. Obviously, money is a limitation, so I just can't be the castle if that was did what I wanted it, which I would not anyway. But I am, I am really happy about this decision. I just feels even more right than it did when it was made as a rhetorical promise 10 years ago to my girlfriend at the time and uh and now i don't think maybe it's because i've grown older as well i mean you grow older you your pay slows a little bit down and your needs is different i mean when i was uh, 20 years ago obviously a discotheque was a must and it still is as far as cafes goes still a very important part of my life but at the same time, I don't really need it as much as I need that tranquility that the cafes usually gives me because I don't go to the busy Starbucks and stuff like that. I go to the more, well, outskirts cafes those would have a little bit of surrounding of nature, maybe even with a good view and stuff. And 
so so me searching towards the cafe is not because I'm addicted so much to the cafe as much as I am to that tranquility it is to sit there and enjoy your coffee in an environment you really like to be and urban environment is not that kind of the place so there is a high likelihood that I'll find my own peace just having my own porch and just having my own place out here in the countryside because as you can see if I'm gonna do here a, a 360 with myself in view then you can see I'm hardly anything around me apart from just nature uh, in the faint distance yes I can hear a agricultural machine of sort been working you can hear the birds uh, yeah I'm really thrilled so we have uh, concluded that this is actually going to add up uh, as far as I can see there's some small slight things that has to be verified but uh, if we get those verified we'll be able to build the house to the uh, extent that we need in order to move in when I'm saying this is because we won't be able to build it 100% finished we don't just don't have the money for it but we will be building it so that it's a livable place and we can continue building on it and improving on it when we're here um, as they say here in Thailand you just keep on doing it and uh yeah i think that's going to be fantastic right now the family here they are growing rice as uh, so they're not started yet see the rice field is just out here and they're not been planting the rice yet but they are got uh mango fruit which is not a big success it takes about three years for the mangoes to grow to a tree that they have fruits and they apparently did it at the same time as everybody else decided that that was a good business so now the whole market is saturated and they, you see the pictures they just have the fruit lying around it's just money not going anywhere because they can't sell it and it's too bad um, if they've got mangoes at the time I come back in two months time I don't think so too bad though but uh, if the trees are still there next year I know I won't be suffering as far as mango thirst goes they also got some chili fruits here um, they got the cows uh, down by the main house uh, really nice cows and as I understand from this brother then it's not cows bred for for meat production or for milk production it's more like a um, I don't know brand production something like that anyway they're more kept like a, a uh, I wouldn't say a pet project but uh, but it's not for milk and it's not for meat eventually they will probably end up on the, the plates as meat but that will be long further down their lifespan uh, then they got some few banana trees obviously and they're growing the grass for the cows to eat uh, the rice fields here are just for the family themselves to live off so um, they don't pay for rice and that's sticky rice predominantly they got a little bit of regular rice yeah I'm really looking forward to this uh, new project it's a big move to move from Denmark to uh, Thailand back in 19 what was that I no, don't no, 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 2005 and it is a uh, equally big step though within the same borders of Thailand to move from the northern Thailand to Isan and it's definitely a step that I'm looking forward to so uh, yeah tomorrow we'll be heading home and uh, I'm planning on making a few videos about why I love Chiang Mai so uh, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you want to follow how this adventure spans out and until next time always keep exploring